it's not quite six o'clock and I've made it to the island. Just have to get to my hostel now. I'm right on the Thai border here. <laughs> I have arrived on Langkawi. <laughs> I've just missed the sunset, but wow. I'm so glad that I've come here. It's nice and quiet. And this is my latest dorm room. Everybody's got a little pod. And I'm in here, snug as a bug. Goodness me, that sky is just amazing. I'm going on a mangrove tour today. Travelled about 30 minutes from where I'm staying. Just arrived here. Looking forward to it. It's hot already and it's only quarter to 10. There we go, I've made it onto the boat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the village Very nice. If you guys look at the back, look. Oh, wow. Like a spider, like a scorpion. Okay, so the habitat is the artificial mango. So we got the name Langkawi or Brown Eagle. Now, another meaning of kawi actually, this is a common general meaning for brown. So, a little bit more specific or detail, what is the meaning of uh, kawi actually? You can notice the mountains over there. So, that also known as kawi or red brown marble stone. So, the nesting place and shelter for the eagle, by the way. So, over here in Langkawi, we got more, 99 small islands around it. So, the nesting place is everywhere. And this is how Langkawi has been called as uh, the island of eagle or the land of Eagle Langkawi. Viper had a very oh, there. Right. Yeah. There. I, uh, just raise until this level. They are nocturnal. They do fishing. The wiggle using the tail, when the fish come near, then okay. they will bite. We're off to the bat cave now, evidently it's a little smelly. really glad that I did this. I've had a fantastic day. I've just had my dinner. It was good. Here I am on Langkawi Island, an absolute spot of tropical paradise. <laughs> I am right at the very top of Malaysia. So we've got Singapore, we've got Malaysia, we've got Thailand, and I'm right on that border 
In fact, not these islands here, but one behind it. I believe that that is Colipe, which will be my next destination. So I've decided to stay here for a few days because it's beautiful. After five days in my little pod in the dorm, I'm moving across and I've upgraded. <laughs> this is my room now. I've got like a little bungalow and a hammock for the next three days. I'm in number four. I've got my own space for three nights. I've got fan and best of all, my own private bathroom. Today's lunch, vegetable curry. It looks lovely. I've just stopped to have a massage. Oh, what a luxury. It's another beautiful day today. And I've come to the Sky Cab, which is like a cable car. I've been planning this for a few days, but I thought I'd get up early this morning and do it. I'm going to bring you with me. Let's go on this cable car. <laughs> it's a little wobbly. <laughs> I'm in the cable car. Looking forward to this. And I'm the only one in this pod, which is really nice. I don't know whether you can see from here, but there's actually another cable car by the looks of things up there as well. I don't know whether that's included in the price. It was, I think, 85 or 89 ringgits to come on here. Oh wow, look at the views over Langkawi. Oh, that's pretty special. Let's give you a 360. How was that? And looking at this, some of these cable cars have got glass bottoms. That is pretty special. And I'm not even at the top yet. Oh, that's a shame. The glass bottom Eagle Lookout is closed for renovation. I'm on the second gondola, but the music is so loud, so I wish it would stop. <laughs> the views are really lovely. That is the most beautiful. It's just stunning. So worth it. Oh wow, look at all those padlocks. That is an amazing view. Stunning. The Queen's Town Gondola in New Zealand. I've been there climbed up it and it is 9,000 kilometers in that direction. Gosh it's only 20 past 10 and it's scorching hot already. I'm so glad I've done this first thing in the morning. Right let's go and see if I can't get down there. It doesn't look like it's open to be honest. Rankawi has definitely exceeded all expectations. It is just so beautiful. That is Thailand. That's where I'm headed next. <laughs> okay, so that's unfortunate. I was going to go and have my picture taken. There's a big heart overlooking there, but there was a queue when I came up, so I thought I'll do it on the way back. But you can't because this just goes straight all the way back down. There is no way I could have done this in the heat of the midday sun. It is literally, it's just about 11 o'clock now and it is so unbearably hot. It is just so uncomfortable, it really is. The humidity is 77%. No wonder I'm melting. <laughs> I'm walking along the beach, not in the water because the lady that read my palm told me not to go in the water. There was loads of people in the water and now there's a guy going past with the red flag telling everybody get out the water because there's dangerous jellyfish out there. That's a little spooky. How did she know? 
Oh my god! Gosh, there's some moments that are just too breathtaking for words. Sat listening to the music playing while I'm in my little hammock outside my room. Oh, it's so nice. Wow, how can I have only have found this on the last day? Thanks for the heads up, Janice. Out for dinner last night in Langkawi, and this is Sinead Anna <laughs> from Ireland, and we're going to enjoy the sunset and a meal. Cheers. Cheers. And our drinks. And our Cheers. drinks. Cheers. <laughs> All packed and ready. In about half an hour, a car will come and take me to the ferry port. And I'm off to Koh Lee Pei. So I had five nights in the dorm here, which was nice because it had one air conditioning unit for the whole room. There was about 20 dorms in there, which was really nice. It kept it cool. And then I moved across here. Don't get me wrong, having my own space is lovely but it was just too hot on this mattress underneath. They've put like, um, it feels like a, a plastic sheet or something. Oh, it's just so hot and just with the fan going. Yeah, I've had three very uncomfortable nights that I haven't slept very well. So fingers crossed when I get to Colipe, I'm in a dorm again, but hopefully there's air conditioning. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm at the ferry port. I've done my passport bit for Malaysia. Just ready for the off now. Not long now before we head off. They said we'll be boarding about half past nine. So it's only a few minutes. Oh my word. I've just had to surrender my passport. <laughs> He's like, don't worry, get on the boat. You can get your passport back when you arrive. Oh my life. I don't mind handing over most things, but my passport, scary. My bag's made it on, so that's a bonus. Almost there. There it is, Koh Lipe, Thailand. Just moved to a smaller boat to get over to the island. Okay, I am now officially on Koh Lipe in Thailand. I've made it. <laughs>